my mother was a Kennedy Democrat, which is, you know, all one word, it, it's a Kennedy Democrat. And she had worked for Jack Kennedy in 1960. In fact, somewhere there's a picture of me with uh, Senator Kennedy uh, the night that he was nominated at the Coliseum. And uh, mom, and uh, she's holding me up with the senator. Uh, and she'd been very active in politics. I was uh, uh, proud to be uh, the son of Linda uh, Marquez Benitez Dash Bosco, uh, who had created a community cultural uh, community center had been active in politics. Uh, she wasn't just stay at home, uh, boil a pot of beans kind of mom. Uh, she was three dollars with a note, go take his brother to Jack in the Box, see you tonight. But uh, she was very active in politics and she was very, very busy working with Bobby. Now in 68, I was all of 16, so that meant that at that point I knew everything in the world. And at that time, what I knew was that Gene McCarthy was the right candidate for president. So I was working for Senator McCarthy because he was going to end the war in Vietnam. Mom was working for Bobby, so we actually had a split household. Uh, but at the end of the day, she was at the Ambassador Hotel for the reception for the winning candidate. And uh, I was sitting at home babysitting my younger brother uh, while we were watching the uh, uh, election results and the uh, coverage. Uh, earlier in the day, because Mom had been out campaigning, she took him and dropped him off with my dad. And my dad was an optometrist who had a very successful practice on First and Dittman in East LA. And Luke, I mean, Luke, my faux pas of the Freud, uh, my, my younger brother was used to doing his homework in dad's office because that happened a lot with two busy parents. They were split up, but they worked together their ways. Um, so, so Patrick is sitting there, <coughs> the motorcade, with Tom Bradley and Bobby comes flying by, but they got stopped because Bobby was so loved in the east side and, and so regarded that they couldn't go forward, so they actually got stuck out in front of the office. So Dad says to, to Patrick, go out and get his autograph. And so Patrick grabs a pen and he grabs one of the mailers that they had dropped off and he runs out and gets Bobby's autograph as Bobby is headed back toward the ambassador for what would be the last night at the election night and also hours before he was slain. Um, but we're sitting on the couch and mom calls me up from the ambassador and says, hey, guess what, my guy won. And I said, yeah, okay, and we teased each other. She goes, okay, uh, it's over, go to bed. And, you know, kiss Patrick goodnight and go to bed. I said, all right, mom. And I hang up the phone and, you know, she'd let my little brother stay up because Bobby was his candidate because Bobby was Catholic. And my, my kid brother was, you know, that was enough for him. Um, so I put him to bed and about a minute later the phone rings again and it's my mother telling me that Bobby had been shot. And she was really literally feet, uh, just, just yards away from the podium and um, had within feet as he walked by. Uh, uh, and, uh, and it was a sad night in my family because I had to wake up and tell my brother and, you know, and mom came home hours and hours later and the world had changed because, you know, we had already survived um, uh, Martin Luther King. And um, when Jack Kennedy got shot, that was my president. And that was really the beginning and the end. And now we'd seen King and Bobby. And so that was all about the ambassador. 